และในงานมหกรรมทุเรียนโลกอีกกิจกรรมหนึ่งที่น่าสนใจไม่แพ้กันนะคะได้แก่การแข่งขันกินทุเรียนค่ะและแม้ว่าในวันนี้ฝนจะตกลงมาบรรยากาศของความสนุกสนานก็ยังคงมีให้เห็นค่ะนี่คือมิสเตอร์แฮร์รี่จอห์นสันนักท่องเที่ยวชาวออสเตรเลียค่ะที่มีความชื่นชอบในรสชาติของทุเรียนเป็นอย่างยิ่งกําลังกินทุเรียนที่เจ้าหน้าที่ได้เตรียมไว้สําหรับผู้แข่งขันอย่างอร,อร่อยโดยในวันนี้นะคะมีฝนตกลงมาอย่างหนักทําให้มีนักท่องเที่ยวเข้ามาร่วมงานกันบางตาเจ้าหน้าที่จึงได้ให้จันทบุรีแล้วเขารู้สึกภาคภูมิใจมากที่เขาได้รับแชมป์ได้รับเสื้อ <laughs> ยูโรเหลืองนี่นะฮะโอเคอะเกนยอร์ฟอมออสเตรเลียออสเตรเลียว่าชื่อเนมไนท์ฮาร์ลีย์ฮาร์ลีย์ฮาร์ลีย์ so what are you waiting for move to a location where you can eat the best fruit in the world why eat stodge and stucco why settle for second best when you can have the best Don't justify your complacency to me or yourself or other people around you. Get off your ass. Go out there and get the best, man. You can do it. What are you waiting for? Anyone can do it. So can you. No excuse. Can you give us an insight into what you've got with consistency on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. Typical day. Yeah, you know, I do a few hours training in the morning and have some fruit with me. So I'm typically eating, on any given day, a minimum of about 4,000 calories. So that's typically you know, 35 to 40 large bananas, or if I'm not eating bananas, that could be like you know, 20 to 30 mangoes, or you know, even a couple of kilos of uh, those medjool dates in California, and you know, three or four liters of water, typically, a day. That many bananas, people think it sounds like a monkey diet. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say, are you nuts? And I'm like, no, I'm bananas. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, but hey, I feel great, and... People say it must take a lot of discipline. Don't you feel like a roast steak or something like that? And I'm like, no, you know, I crave health, vitality. I crave a, you know, world where people have enough food to eat. And I crave. You know, I'm an environmentalist and I'm an animal lover. And for me, animal love and ain't shove them in the oven. Where are we today, Durian Rider? We are at the World Durian Festival in Chanterbury, Thailand. Life's too short to keep your mouth shut. Speak from the heart. Make every moment count. Life's just too boring and dull otherwise. Harley, how do you keep a six pack all year long? How do you stay ripped all year long? What is your secret? Firstly, I don't have a ripped ab all year long, um, more so when I'm doing a lot of racing. My body fat levels drop down a bit. For me, I don't aim to stay ripped all year long. Because why? Because no animal in nature stays the same body fat percentage all year long. I've trained with you know, some of the top cyclists in the world. And I'll tell you now that these guys' body weight fluctuates you know, up and down in the year. I know Lance only holds his lightest body weight for four weeks of the year, and that's in July for the Tour de France. He says that any more than four weeks, it's just too much on his immune system. And he can't hold that fitness, that high-intensity fitness, for more than four weeks of the year. Four weeks. So people are trying to you know, maintain this super cut, razor edge, shredded and you know, refined physique 52 weeks of the year. And not even the hardest of the hard super trainers, super dopers like Lance Armstrong 
can do it for four weeks so we can see the impossible standard that people are ignorantly trying to maintain and they're wondering why they're going crazy when they try and maintain this 52 weeks of the year ripped rock solid 10 pack <laughs> road map veins in your legs sort of physique talk to champion bodybuilders they're only super cut for one week of the year maybe two weeks of the year you know for two competitions a year they're super cut and the rest of the time they've got a bit of coating on them when you walk past the magazine aisle and you see the men's health magazine with the model on the front with the airbrushed abs and the photoshopped abs and all that people assume that that man that person that woman they're like that all year round it's like no way you know what I mean <laughs> no way Haley Gabra Celesi he sets his world record marathons how many marathons does he do a year one or two a year you know what I mean as people can only hold this thing for a very short window mass media plays on that and says if you can't win every single race you do if you don't look like a supermodel every single day you're a failure buy our product you guilty piece of shit so my advice is don't try and maintain low body fat levels for a very long time it's like fitness you know it's up and down over the course of the year just roll with it live the healthy lifestyle live the fitness based lifestyle and don't become too attached to being the the super champ 52 weeks a year because nobody's doing that and even if you look to nature you know no animal is prime rock and roll in 52 weeks a year there's up and down variations even spiders I've collected you know spiders vary in body weight from you know the breeding cycle to the to summer as winter and spring so don't try and maintain the same body fat levels or the same body weight all year round because you're gonna go crazy I know people that do go crazy trying to maintain that perfectionism is simply impossible and you will go crazy in the process so uh, basically the body will fluctuate 10 to 15 percent over the year so if you weigh 60 kilos which you know that's what I weigh my lightest of the year and that's only maybe for a month of the year two weeks of the year when I'm doing you know full-on peaked up for a 24-hour race and after the 24 hours I'll be about 60 kilos anywhere up to 70 kilos in the off season when I'm you know doing a bit more weights and just you know not as much bike racing and running stuff like that so it's just all good it's 10 to 15 percent a year body weight increases it's good for your hormones it's good for your body it's good for your mind and uh, you look at the people who are just you know hobbling down the street because they're running every day of the year and I can't take a day off because I might get obese overnight and oh, I'm only running 8 k's an hour but I look like I should be run winning marathons but I'm just so starved and depressed and I'm about to go crazy insane don't talk to me too long because I'm on the edge man you know someone like that? I do. And so all we can do is be the example, be the lighthouse shining so brightly that our example is undeniable and hopefully people will come around.